On this Otego, the cab cannot be tilted. The torsion bar is probably defective. Detach the following parts, the trim grille, the left wind guide, and the bumper corner. Here is the problem. The torsion bar is broken. To remove it, the pin must first be detached. To do this, and do the small allen screw. Cut the cable ties so that the cables can be pushed to one side. Then unscrew the bolt at the other end of the torsion bar. The cab can still be tilted using a crane. There are two holes for this on the rear wall of the cab. Remove the rubber grommets and insert the hooks of the crane sling. The end with the small locking tab first. Once the hooks are attached to the cab, the sling can be tightened. The cab must be unlocked. Pull the cab up slowly. When the second detent is reached, the cab must be unlocked again at the lever below the door. Now the cab can be tilted all the way with the crane. Important, for safety reasons, and to allow the initial angle to be set later on, a holding device must be attached. The top end is fastened to the guide roller of the cab. The bottom end is screwed onto the longitudinal frame member, with a wing nut. The tilted cab is now secure so that you can work underneath. First, the tilt securing strut must be detached. It is secured with a clip at each end. Remove these, detach the strut from the pin, and lay it down towards the rear. Next, the clamping lever must be released. Use a wrench to undo the lock nut on the clamping screw. The mounting bolt must be completely unscrewed. Once the clamping lever is released, the torsion bar can be pulled out. Replace the defective torsion bar with a new one. Push it, threaded end first, through the left cab mounting. Then through the hole in the clamping lever and on into the right cab mounting. Note, make sure that the torsion bar does not catch anywhere and is correctly seated in the mountings. Note, Secure the torsion bar immediately by screwing the mounting bolt into the thread in the torsion bar on the passenger side. Tighten the bolt to the specified torque.
Now position an angle gauge on the bottom edge of the driver door. Twist the holding device until the gauge indicates an angle of 47 degrees. Push the clamping lever to the left, onto the teeth of the torsion bar. The mounting bolt should be approximately in the center of the slot. Now screw in the clamping screw until it touches the guide plate, and then tighten the lock nut. The mounting bolt can then be tightened to the specified torque. In this state, reinstall the tilt securing strut and secure it with the metal clips. The holding device can now be safely removed. Detach the hooks of the crane sling again and reinstall the rubber grommets. Now we check the function of the tilting mechanism. Pull the cab down as usual and unlock it again to check that. It bounces up a little. The tilting mechanism works again. Reinsert the pin in the left cab mounting. The Allen screw must fit exactly into this groove. Push in the pin until the Allen screw can be screwed into the groove. The screw can now be tightened to secure the pin. Tie the lines together with new cable ties and reinstall all the trim parts. The vehicle is now ready.